this, I'm Al Seidler and I'm the inventor of the, uh, the Seidler Sonic Pulse uh, fishing rod and uh, uh, while we're here this afternoon we want to uh, use the rod and show what, what the various applications that you can do with it. Uh, the wacky style fishing, it, it usually is a certain type of hook. The one I'm using this afternoon is one that has a, a little barb that keeps it, uh, uh, keeps, keeps it from uh, getting hooked up to any vegetation or anything like that. We're going to be fishing a little bit over some uh, uh, hydrilla and uh, as I move it on over the hydrilla we're going to uh, hit the little button that sends a little vibration to it to see if and get the fish excited about, about uh, inhaling the, the lure. So I'll, I'll just cast it out out here and what we're going to do is we're going to let it rest on top of the hydrilla or the area in which we're fishing and uh, just set, leave it there and uh, as we're picking up the slack of the rod or the line we will just hit the little button and that's what sends the vibration to the lure and we'll just see what, what takes place. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the slack of the line and as I pick up the slack of the line I'm just going to push the little button and which should send the vibration to the lure and see what happens. Got one! Yep, there. Got another one. They're not very big, but they sure react to the... to the lure as it moves, as, as, as I move it. Okay. Okay. So actually, Actually, wacky style fishing is an awful lot of fun. You can use a wacky style style worm or a trick worm. But what's really nice also is that if you're fishing with a, with a centipede or something like that, and sometimes you damage the lure on the one end, just take it, make it a wacky style, and it's it's amazing how well it works. Okay, another presentation I'd like to talk to you about is a, is a presentation that's used by a lot of fishermen. It catches a lot of fish, but I want to add something to it for you. This is a uh, shaky head uh, lure, and what it does, it has, a, it has a weight, and when it drops to the bottom, it sets up like this. And what's supposed to happen is this lure stands up with the lure, and it does that. It's a rattlesnake lure. It's put out by Grandy Bass. And, uh, but what, what happens with this when you have it in the water and it's like that, and you push this little button after you pick up the slack, push the button, it takes this little end and it moves it differently than the fish has ever felt it before. That's what makes the fish strike it extremely hard. So let's, uh, let's try it out and let's see, uh, see how it works, okay? So I'll just cast on out here. All right. As I cast out there, I'm just going to leave it set there for a little bit because uh, the lure will, should raise up. But you know what? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there he is! Nice fish. Nice fish. But that's how it works. And it, it just adds something extra to the lure. And the nice thing about it no matter what lure that you put on here, no matter what lure you put on, any package or any lure that you want to put on there, it, the mechanism is built right in the handle. All you can do is push the button and you can use every lure for the same thing. That's how you use it. You can use any type of lure that you want on it, any size, weight that you want. You want this a little bit heavier. This, is, I think, is a, a quarter ounce, a quarter, a quarter ounce uh, lure. And it works with any type of lure. A lot of times you can use a little shorter one if you want to. It comes in a three and a half and it comes in a five, four and a half. So I'll uh, have a lot of fun fishing. Okay, another application I'd like to talk to you about and uh, one that I really enjoy. I catch a lot of fish with a drop shot. Drop shot is where you have the sinker down to the bottom. You want to bring it down to the bottom of the lake, put your bait in the area where the fish are if they're suspended. Or you can bring it, and, and, and the length that you can have, you can have a, a lot of guys only have it for 12 inches. This in here is about 18 inches. It just depends on how deep of water that you fish. And of course, again, as I said, it's where the fish are. Nice thing about that, when you pull, when you pull up on this, it takes the lure and spreads it out or away from the line. 
Now, with the, with the mechanism that's just built in the rod by pushing the little button, guess what it's doing to this? It's shaking this like you wouldn't believe. And when this moves differently than a normal movement, it drives fish crazy. Try it. You will love it. So let me, uh, let's just try it and see uh, how, we, uh, how we do with this. As it's down there, just pick up the slack. It works on a taut line. The minute you hit the button and the line is tight, it sends a vibration to that lure. Uh, let's see, oh, it feels like, a, oh, I think I got one, yeah. Yep, there he is. Nice fish. It isn't a monster, but it's a lot. It's a fun fish that you have a lot of fun catching, and you never know. They might. The next one might be a five or ten pounder. Use the the sinker that you screw into the end of the of the end of the lure. That way, you always have contact with the bait at all times. But when you're going over a log, sometimes the sinker comes one way, the lure goes the other way, and the lure is never down where, where you want it. So it's very simple to, to rig. Get a good size hook. I, I, I recommend a four, size four hook, so that when you do have a big fish, you don't, the fish doesn't straighten the hook. Everyone fishes Texas style fishing more than anything else. You catch a lot of fish Texas styling, and uh, Texas fishing, and uh, uh, we're doing this today, and I'd like to uh, show you how I do it. Uh, uh, actually, when I cast on out there, I just I, I fish with a 10-inch worm an awful lot, but I also have I use this lure, which is a sinkhole. I use a sinkhole a lot, and when I cast it on out there, I just let the thing drop, and I'm hoping that as the lure goes down, a fish doesn't hit it, because usually the fish that hits it is a small fish and I'm really fishing for a big fish with this product. The reason I want it down there is I want to get it past the fish that's there. I don't know how many fish are down there anyway, but I'm, I'm trying to fish for a large one. So I toss it on out. I, I take it out just like this, and I toss it out, and I just leave it set like that. And I usually count it to five or 10, whatever it may be. And when I do, I pick up the slack, because I know the lure is down to the bottom. I pick up the slack and I hit the button and I move it just a little bit. By doing that, if the fish is there, if he doesn't hit the lure, he's really taking a look at it. And if he doesn't take it the first time, I'm going to tell you something, nine times out of ten, he will hit the lure extremely hard. Let me just show you how this works and maybe we can get one to show you exactly what happens. So let's see. I left it down there. I'm gonna move it just a little bit. Now I, I just moved it the second time and I'm just gonna pick up on it just a little bit and I'm gonna hit the button. Something seems to be there. Oh, there he is! Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. But that's what it is. That's what that's that's what it's that's why it's so much fun to have that extra extra advantage that you would have by having the button on the rod. You can get some nice fish. It's a beauty. It's about a two and a half, three pound, probably two and a half, three. So all I can tell you is just uh, have a great time. Come and see me anytime you want to. If there's any question that you have about your rod that you have purchased, if you haven't purchased one, take a look at them. You'll find it very interesting and it'll help you catch more fish. But thanks an awful lot for your attendance and uh, we appreciate you all. Thank you all. Thanks so much.